Hello and welcome to Cracksoid. As you know that a single Wi-Fi router is no match for a larger home. Due to thick walls, the Wi-Fi signals cannot be reachable in every room, especially on top floor, so we get less speed and performance. So one of the best way to extend the reach of your Wi-Fi coverage is to take a secondary router. It can be an old one too and use it as an extender or repeater. So in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest, best method to extend Wi-Fi range with another router without using any cable and without using computer and by using mobile phone only. I am on the top floor of the house and the Wi-Fi signal is very low. So I have brought another router. This is an old one, TP-Link router. Connect it with an adapter. Now we have to reset the router so long press this button for about 5 seconds to reset the router. Other router may have different ways to reset. Now pick up your mobile phone and make sure your phone is connected to your main router. As you can see my phone is connected to the Wi-Fi of main router but the signal is very low. First off I'll show you the speed that I get from the main router signal. I'll go to fast.com to check the internet speed and as you can see the speed I'm getting is very low which is only 230 kbps. Now you need to connect your phone to the Wi-Fi signal of your secondary router that you have brought to extend the Wi-Fi range. The name of the router is TP-Link and you can get its password from the back side of that router. Password and other essential details are written on the back side of the router. I have already connected to the network using the password that I got from the back of my router. Now you can see the Wi-Fi is connected but there is no any internet access. Now go to Chrome browser and go to gateway IP address. You can find it on the back side of your router and also you can find gateway IP address easily from mobile phone and as well as from PC. You can check my video on how to find gateway IP address which will be on the description section. For my TP-Link router, the gateway IP address is 192.168.0.1. Type this and then you will be redirected to login page. Here you have to type username and password. The login username and password will be on the back side of your router and for TP-Link router, the username and password both are same which is admin type admin on both username and password section and click on login then you will be redirected to the home page and here directly go to quick setup section and tap on it then click on next to start then you need to select operation mode and here you need to select range extender and tap on next button Then the list of all the Wi-Fi signals are shown. If it does not show the list of Wi-Fi, then try again by clicking on refresh button. So simply click on connect. Now on this page, you don't need to do any other thing. Simply click on password section and type the password of your Wi-Fi of main router. You can even click on next button to continue but if you want to customize the name of your another router's wi-fi then tap on customize and edit the name i'll rename it as cracksoid then click on next then you will be redirected to network setting here make sure lan type is dhcp and then click on next Finally, we are redirected to review section here. Simply click on finish button. This will reboot your router as you can see the router on the screen and also you can see the percentage on phone and with the percentage to be 100%. Now go back and go to Wi-Fi section. There you will find your secondary Wi-Fi. For me, it's cracked so it's so simply click on it and type the password. Now the password of this Router will be same as of main Wi-Fi password which is fibernet at the rate 123 and click on connect. Now it's connected so I'll check the speed from fast.com website and you can see the Wi-Fi speed is increasing and the final speed is 9.5 Mbps. As you can see before the Wi-Fi speed was 
only 230 kbps and now by extending the wi-fi using old router the internet is more than 10 mbps now you can enjoy using internet with full speed so this is the best method to extend wi-fi using any old router wireless i have shown this method using mobile phone but you can also configure these settings from computer too and if you want to watch that video then check the description section thank you so much for watching this video till the end if you have any queries or suggestions feel free to comment down below and you can support us by subscribing to our channel crack i'll see you in my next video